are you what's up guys Urk here and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel uh so i'm gonna be doing a video like a similar video to what i've done before i've talked about koei and badline merging and i've talked about mcpvp shutting down and both times i've given my thoughts and opinion on the situation uh so basically i'm gonna be doing the same thing right now with pop pvp versus pvp lounge so we're gonna talk about lounge first and what i think of lounge is i think lounge is a very good server as a whole however there's certain things about it that i just don't think live up to pop pvp number one being in the pots now they're very different um they are fake now you can call them edited you can call them whatever you want but they are fake and made to be easier than pots actually are and i know this because i can actually develop and you know bucket myself and i know exactly how they did it and how easy it is to do now it makes it easier and people like things that are easier so it's good for you know the server as a whole but it's not good for people who are actually trying to practice and it is a practice server like when I first got on lounge for the first time and my friend was showing me it, I knew, I literally said out of nowhere, I said, this is not real. These pots are edited somehow in the code because at the time I didn't know how to do it. I said, there's no way that this is real. And I knew from the beginning that they were fake and there's nothing really wrong with that. I mean, you could just call them edited, but I think from a perspective of the point that it is a practice server, you're not practicing for HCF that way because HCF servers don't really do that. And if they do, I'm, you know, I'm not aware. You don't really feel it the same way if they do. As for the knockback though, I really don't like lounges knockback. People think they or people say they really like it, but I just get like 10 blocked all the time and I don't get that on other servers. Now not all the time. That was really an exaggeration, but I just I don't get that on other servers the same way I do get it on lounge. Uh, I don't know why. I kind of wish that lounge had better uh, knockback just because I played it for a long time and made Elo series on there. But uh, now I'm going to be playing pop PvP from now on because I personally, I guess I'll give my opinion now, I do think pop PvP is better for some of the following reasons. Number one, the pots are real. Now, although that may be annoying for some people to get used to, the pots are real. You know, it's good practice. It's an actual practice. I think the knockback is better personally, but that's just because I've always liked Mine HQ's knockback. I can't really say much about that. I don't know enough. I'm not a practice warrior. I just personally do think it's better. I enjoy it more to play with. And the clear thing is the fact that it's open to everybody, even though it's not even out yet. Now, PvP Launch has been having their private beta for a very long time now, and I think it's pretty evident to everybody that it's not going to come out fully unless some shit goes down that makes them need to come out. Uh, they're making a lot of money from Whitelist, and that's their business model, and I respect that. You know, I've been a server owner before. I respect that their business model is for people to pay to get on, but they should just be open about it and not call it a closed beta, because the server is clearly ready for launch. Like, it, it's been out for a while. They just put a new spawn, and they put out an update before they even opened it. Now, that's fine. I just think they should be open about it with the players. And once again, I have nothing against PvP Lounge as a whole. I think it's a good server. It's well set up. The plugins are well coded. I just think there's a couple things that give Pop PvP an edge. And I think will be the reason Pop PvP is much more popular. Along with the fact that it's actually open to everybody. The only thing I'll say about Pop PvP, and please don't ban me for this, is that the staff on there are very defensive about the server. Uh, it's very clear that people get banned just for talking a little bit of shit. And honestly, I kind of agree because, like, you know, you don't need those players on there. But it's a little bit, you know, <laughs> I think it's a little bit extreme the way they do on there. Again, please don't ban me. I'm a, I'm a fan. Now, do I think the two servers can exist together? Yes, it definitely can. I think PvP Lounge, you know, has its place in the community. But I think Pop PvP is definitely going to take over as the main practice server. Badline is there, but I feel like they're kind of separate. Like, you can go on there and battle on there and there's always people on there but i feel like it's almost a different community uh i only go on there for like build uhc and stuff because that's the only way i like their knockback because that's really what it's built around uh otherwise i really think pop pvp and lounge are the two main servers around that are for practice and i think pop pvp is definitely going to be considered the main one although lounge is nowhere near going to die like if every time lounge on whitelist they get like hundreds and hundreds of players compared to normal so i think that if they start to die the way they're running now they'll just open they'll call it okay guys we're actually opening now and that's what's going to happen and again i respect it i've been a server owner i understand how it works and that's their business model but once again as you know i'm kind of more of a player now i think they should just open it to the public or say hey you know we're not going to open to the public this is a private server that you can pay to get on and that's perfectly fine all right, guys, so I'm actually on pop PVP for this part of the video. I know the other parts of the video were either my gameplay or someone else's gameplay. I haven't decided yet, but as for right now, I just want to show you guys that I think pop PVP looks better as a whole. And by the way, you know, I think it's kind of goes without saying, but I wasn't paid for this video. Um, as a whole, pop PVP looks better in my opinion, not necessarily the hot bar, just because like, you know, lounge looks just as good there. But I mean, it's the fact that we have the scoreboard. Personally, I like the builds better. That's just me personally. But I think the scoreboard makes it, you know, a lot better. I like the rematch function that they have on here. And I really like that there's match servers. I know that PvP Lounge, at least as of right now, does not have match servers. 
Uh, I don't know how much of a difference that really makes when there's only a few hundred people on, but I think when there's like a thousand people on when Pop PvP comes out, I think that's really going to be helpful to uh, make sure that there's not any lag or anything. You know, you don't have to have two practice servers like Koei did. So yeah, that's really all that I had to say about this. If you did enjoy, make sure you drop a like. I don't know how many likes I want on a video like this. Just drop a like if you enjoyed or you agree with anything that I said. Uh, I will see you guys in a video tomorrow, maybe a stream later. Peace out.